Our friends have successfully obtained the Patty Mobile. This should make their journey to Shell City much easier. Sacre Bleu! What is this? <laughs> Shortly after crossing the Bikini Bottom County Line, our friends are stopped by a thug who demands that they give him the Patty Mobile immediately. Our friends put up a valiant fight. But alas, in the end, they are no match for the vile ruffian. So, it would seem they are back to square one. Oh no! Hi! Nice day, don't you think? Yep. So, how's life on the Bikini Bottom Frontier? Tougher than you can handle. Ain't that right, Lloyd? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are getting on my nerves. So, what have you fellas been up to? Not much. It's enough fun just watching poor saps like yourself try and survive over the county line. Oh, but we did go goofy goobas last night. That was fun. Shh, why'd you have to go and tell them that? Well, you looked like you were having fun, singing and dancing on the tables, and then you... I did not. Yes, you did, and you hugged Goofy Goober and told him he was your best friend, and then I got upset because I thought I was your best friend, and then... Pay no attention to him. And then you got the sheet music to the Goofy Goober thing. Because you said you wanted to go home and don't play it on your harmonica. I don't even have a harmonica. I really have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah? Well, then why don't you empty your pockets? You're still wearing the same pants. I bet the sheet music is still in there. Don't be ridiculous. Excuse me for a moment. He even said that Goofy Goober was his hero and that he wanted to be just like him. Where did he go? Okay, I'm back. No sheet music in my pockets. I have no idea what you're talking about. And I think we should stop talking about it right now. Did you just throw away the sheet music? I am never speaking to you again. I'm off! You ain't gonna last ten seconds over the camera line. <laughs> oh yeah? We'll see about that. That reminds me. I'm tired. Sheet music for the Goofy Goober song! Who in their right mind would throw this away? Our car! We have to figure out a way to get it back! The guy who took it probably has the keys near him. Let's just march in there and take them. Patrick, I think we're going to have to be a little more sneaky than that. Maybe if we distract him. Yeah, distract him. Then we can take the keys while he isn't looking. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, let's get to it, buddy. I gotta go to the bathroom. But Patrick, what about the distraction? Barnacles! Hello, Barky. Nice place you've got here. No, it isn't. It's a nasty place. But we like to keep it that way. Ah, well, you know best. What do you want? In case you didn't notice, I'm in a bad mood. May I please have some ice cream? <laughs> ice cream? Only babies eat ice cream. You're not a baby, are you? Uh, no? I mean, no! I'm not so sure about that myself. Watch your step or you'll end up squashed. 
We deal with babies in the most unpleasant way. I'm gonna look around your beautiful establishment if you don't mind. Ooh, must have the red carpet for Mr. Fancy Talk. Boy, I oughta. Hi there, mister. I mean, misters. Hello. What are you two doing? We're drinking rusty dirt water. Trying to remember the words to a song. Oh yeah? What song is that? That's none of your business. Is it the Goofy Goober song? Yes. No, I don't mean maybe. Why, do you know it? I know most of it. Want me to teach it to you? No, if someone hears, we'll get in trouble. Maybe I can find another way to show it to you. You do that. We're not going anywhere. Here you go, fellas. The sheet music to the Goofy Goober theme song. Enjoy. You have to say that so loud. Thanks. The big guy will see me. No soap in the thing. Ew, gross. Hi, Patrick, old buddy. Hey, SpongeBob. What you doing? Dum 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 dum. Right. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to your insane mutterings. Hi there, large person. What do you want, Runt? We're playing a game here. Did you ever visit Muscle Beach? You probably work out there. <laughs> Muscle Beach, don't make me laugh. I get all the work that I need beating on people. In fact, you're tempting me to launch into a few reps right about now. Yeah, you know, I go there sometimes. Work on the lats and pecs and uh, fingers. Great. Why don't you go there now, before I get all unpleasant like? Do you know what I hate? Sandy feet. Cause then you get sand in the bed, and you can never get it all out, and there's always this one last grain. And no matter how much you shake the... Uh, beat it, before I beat you. Well, I should let you get back to your bullying. Yeah, if you know what's good for you, which I doubt you do. Uh, exercise? Uh. Hello again. I'm back. Still alive, huh? Surprising. Say, the soap dispenser in the bathroom is out of soap. My hands are kind of dirty. You think you can refill it? You're lucky I don't refill you. To the brim with a pipe and hot butt whooping. Fine. It'll get you off my back. Well, squeeze me dry and call me Gerald. It worked! There! Boom! Hope you're happy. Actually, I hope you're miserable! Don't forget I said anything. I'm gonna look around your beautiful establishment if you don't mind. Ooh! Must have the red carpet for Mr. Fancy Talk. Boy, I oughta! So, having reclaimed the Patimobile as their own, right. SpongeBob and Patrick are once again on their way yeah. to Shell City. Meanwhile, Neptune's daughter Mindy has been grounded. Help her get out of her father's castle so she can help our heroes. I have to find a way out of here. Maybe I can commandeer Daddy's seahorse carriage. It's very fast. 
And I need to get to SpongeBob and Patrick as quickly as possible. Ah, that lets some air in. That's where I keep my clothes. Well, my shirts anyway. But one downer about being a mermaid is that I miss out on all the great shoe sales. Wow, this mirror is filthy. It's embarrassing. Out of my way. I need to get out of here to help my friends. I'm sorry, Princess Mindy. I was specifically instructed by the king not to let you leave until he returns. I have to go. I can't let you. No, I mean, I have to stop talking to you. You're buckling my scales. I'm sorry, Princess. I'm only doing my job. It's a bottle of blue. I better not close that window now, or it'll get stuck shut. Fire! Fire! Quick! We have to leave the castle immediately! I'm not that gullible. We had the castle fireproof by building it underwater. Okay, I know you aren't going to believe this, but a major sea monster is outside my window, and he said something about your mother. My mother? Out of my way! For king and country and mommy! Well, this is embarrassing. I seem to be stuck. Mindy! A little help here. Mindy! I think I've been had. That took care of him. Now I need to get to Daddy's seahorse carriage. He keeps it just outside the courtyard. There, Dolly. Hi, Princess. How is everything on the farm? Everything is a okay. Thought I saw a sea louse a bit earlier, but it was probably just my imagination. Other than that, it's been quiet as a blend near a cuttlefish. That's an odd expression. Truer words were never spoken. Dolly, I need to borrow Daddy's seahorse carriage. Now, what you want to be doing that for, Princess? I need to help my friends. I have to get to them quickly, or maybe too late. I can't let you do that, princess. I'll get in trouble with the big man. Please, I promise to be very careful. I'm sorry, princess. I can't do it. Where is the seahorse carriage anyway? It's outside the front gate. But the seahorses are in here, and I'm afraid I can't let you take them. I'd love to help you, Princess, but I can't. I'm gonna get going. Hitting the dusty trail, huh? Well, pleasant wanderings, Princess. That's Daddy's Royal Seahorse Carriage. The seahorses are in the stables, though. I need to get them if I'm gonna go anywhere in it. Dungeon Master's Handbook, and it's got a picture of a dragon on it.
Hi, any idea where Daddy went? Mindy, shouldn't you be in your room? I thought I heard the king say you were grounded. I was grounded, but then Daddy called and said that I was free to go. Ah, oh, that old softy. Yeah, freeing your own daughter from imprisonment. He's quite the teddy bear. Why are you still here? Shouldn't you be away with Daddy? Well, I should, but I asked permission to stay here because I, um, want to, um, go see Dolly. Dolly? The ranch hand? Wait a second. Do you like her? Uh, maybe, but I'm too afraid to talk to her. Don't be afraid. Just go tell her how you feel. Any girl would be lucky to have you as an admirer. Do you really think so? Yeah. Now don't waste another minute. Go tell her how you feel. Okay, I will. But wait. What's wrong? I need to check how I look. I need a mirror. You have one I can borrow? I do have one somewhere. Here's my mirror. Ugh, it's so grimy I can't even see myself in it. This doesn't do me any good. I could have a rash and not know it. You don't have a rash, I promise you. Well, I need to check for myself. Can't you clean that mirror? It's gross. Okay, fine. I'll be back. I think I'll leave that alone. You'll thank me later. That thing is scary. Hi! Hello, Princess! Wow. It smells so much better down here now than it did last week. The stench level is almost tolerable. Yep. The guards have stopped passing out and everything. What was it? You're probably better off not knowing. Let's just say, mold can crop up in the most unexpected and surprising places. <laughs> I can't believe Daddy threw the crown polisher in the dungeon after all. Yeah, he was very upset. He had me put him in the worst cell. It has bad lighting and its chi is all out of whack. I couldn't spend five minutes in there without losing it. When is he getting out? Well, your father said, never, not in a million billion years. I will see him rot for an eternity and another dozen eternities on top of that. So? Tuesday, probably. Can I see the crown polisher, please? Sorry, princess. I can't let you by. The king wouldn't approve. I just want to talk to him. No, nope, no. Nope. I can't let you. Sorry. How goes the dungeon running business? Oh, it's thriving. There's always someone to question or throw into a cell or shackle. I just wish I was better at it. Don't be so hard on yourself. I think you run this dungeon just fine. Well, you know, they don't teach you this in school. If I had a book on it, I could do so much better. A book on running a dungeon, huh? Yeah, it could tell me what to do. Like, should I use the rack? Should I glower menacingly or give an evil laugh? <laughs> Stuff like that. Hmm. Sounds like it would be an interesting read. Look what I brought you. The Dungeon Master's Handbook. Wow! Thanks, Mindy. You're the greatest. Do you think I could get in to see the Crown Polisher now? Okay, okay. But just for a minute. And don't tell anyone I let you go back there. The first thing it says in this here book is never show your soft side. I promise, I'll tell everyone how scary and intimidating you are. Thanks, princess. Oh dear, Daddy really did throw you in the dungeon. Poor little fella. Oh, 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 hi, princess. I can't believe Daddy went behind my back and threw you in here. After promising me he wouldn't, I'm going to have to have a few words with him. N no, please don't. I, I know you mean well, but I think it just upsets him more. Re really, I'm okay here for a while. How are you passing the time in here? I, I count rats. I it takes longer than you might think. I, I do miss my old job, though. Oh, what I wouldn't give for something to polish. Say, can you polish this mirror up for me? Really? Can I? 
It's been so long since I've polished something, I'm starting to go into withdrawal. Here you go. Thanks. There you are, polished as good as new. Thanks, little fella. Here's my mirror. La, que magnifique. How could I have doubted my own suavity? Thank you, Princess. And now I must go. I have a date with destiny. Good luck. With eyes like mine, luck isn't necessary. Wow, that was a quick 180. Midi has found our heroes just as they are about to enter the dreaded Great Trench, where dark and evil things lurk. They have lost their precious Paddymobile once again. Mindy senses their low morale and boosts their confidence by bestowing false mustaches made of seaweed upon them. With renewed vigor, they We're march mad. headlong into the Great Trench, yeah! confident they can handle anything it throws their way.